curious about George. We're just going to take a turn asking you a question based on some famous Georges. Okay. Don't don't old lord us. We're, I like we're this. a friendly bunch. We're going to uh, start you off easy here. Okay. You ready? Here we go. George Clooney. Mm-hmm. Heartthrob. Yeah. Gorgeous. Silver Fox. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mega great movie tequila. star. Great yes. tequila. Great. Yes. So we want to know who would play you in a movie about your life. Do I have to use a George? No. Or? No. No. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Oh, so he's going to go with Mr. Sexy Man of the Year? I love it that there was no flinching. He's like, Duh. I knew that. Yeah, come on. Right out the gate. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Okay, all right. <laughs> that's all you need okay, to know. Okay, is that good enough? Does that sure. suffice? Sure. I ain't mad at you, I'm man. into it. Yeah. I tell them all the time, this is Michael B. Jordan or uh, yeah, exactly. you know, Denzel for me. All right, Ooh. so let's go. I got one for you. Uh, George, <laughs> George Hallis is one of the legends of the NFL. Which of the 49er teammates that you have would make the best head coach? Best head coach? Yeah. Who? Um, that's a good one. Um, I think I would go with, I'd like to play for Sherm. Sherm? Yeah. Richard Sherman, head yeah. coach. I like that. I'd like to play for Sherm. Knows the uh, game. Well, it just, you know, when I, because I never knew Sherm, so yeah. when I first got in the locker room, you know, he first came in, I mean, the only thing I really saw was I played against him twice, and then, all you, I mean, all I know is, you know, the Crabtree video. Yeah. So yeah. I was yeah. like, who is this guy? And really one of the most genuine, nice people I've ever met mm. in my entire life. Um, wow. Loves video games, play Fortnite with him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's an absolute great guy, and yeah. uh, he's, he's definitely a, he's a player's coach. I mean, that's just that's how he is on the field. He loves it, and uh, I'd play for him. Richard Sherman, uh, I love that. That's good. Competitive on the field. I'm pretty sure you, you went him. up against him, right? I did. Yeah, my first, I had one route against him in camp, and he completely locked me down, so that was really fun. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah. Uh, George Costanza, Seinfeld, one of my favorite characters on TV of all time. But I would ask you, George Kittle, who is your favorite TV character of all time? Animated, sitcom, serious, Ooh. anything. Your favorite TV character of all oh, time. Oh, dear. Uh, can I give you animated and normal? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think animated, I'd have to go with Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Solid. Love Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. I, was, I was a big fan of Jawbreakers back then. Uh, yeah, of course, <laughs> as we all were. That was my thing. Uh, <laughs> And an actual TV show. Well, Game of Thrones is my favorite show, but okay. I, can't, I, I can't pick a favorite. Thank you. I can't pick a favorite character. So my like number one favorite character of a TV show would be uh, Sherlock and Sherlock Holmes in the yeah. TV show of Sherlock. Course. And okay. Patch. I liked it. I love that guy. BBC yeah. style. I've I've watched that series through. Like I'll sit down for one day and I'll watch it for twelve hours. I'll finish the whole series at a time. Sherlock guy. Sherlock. Love it. <laughs> Didn't know Great that. Great actor. Didn't Great see actor. that coming. We're all curious about this George. How about George Carlin, one of the funniest, yeah. best stand-up comedians ever? Legend. What I'd like to know is what's the hardest you've ever laughed? Oh, dear. That you can share on a daily family oh, show? On a daily family show? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I can't point to one, you know, specific story, but I'd say, I mean, anytime you're in the locker room, you know, with your teammates, there's just the conversations that you have, whether it's in the locker room or at, like, the lunch table. Yeah. Stories that Joe Staley tells. Really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. When you get Joe and Mike McGlinchey together, all bets are off. Like, when they sing karaoke together, I'll be all rolling. <laughs> Game over. That's, that's for me. Some of the people don't understand the locker room conversations. They're different. The lunch room, they're, <laughs> they're different. different. They're different. Tears. We can't talk about them really at the table. <laughs> The best conversation. You remember those more than you remember plays on the field. Oh, yeah. I, I, there are some things I've learned. And I mean, I had Logan Paulson, uh, who was a vet tight end, had him for one year. Absolutely fantastic guy. He's been in like four different locker rooms. He's probably had every conversation you possibly have multiple times. Of course. He has stories and <laughs> stories and stories. And Logan Paulson, him. come on the show. I love it. Uh, George R.R. R. Martin, the aforementioned Game of Thrones series. He wrote it. He's not another George. We've debated all week. Game of Thrones. That's the dude. Game of Thrones. Or the Avengers, which is a better series. Where do you stand, George Kittle? Let me tell you this, George, first. These two, the Goof Troop, have never seen a single episode of Game of Thrones. Haven't gotten into it. Uh, I've been watching one. Sherlock. It's, can I leave it's, the show? It's yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. You man. can just talk to me the Don't whole time. Don't pass judgment. It's, that way, they, it's my new show. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm going to watch it. I'm committed to it. This but week. the Avengers has a lot of heat, too. Which one are you picking? That's so hard. Like, I grew up with... Oh, jeez. Can I plead the fifth on this? No. No, probably not. Oh, shoot. Uh, and Andy Cohen's <laughs> this, this, show? Come this, on. This is like saying, like, would you rather see season eight of Game of Thrones or watch Avengers Endgame? That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Ooh. That Endgame is about to get real. I already have my tickets for Endgame. <laughs> you bought them? You, you did them already? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, bought, I already bought eight tickets for it. I'm, we're, we're, we're taking a whole squad. Yeah, see? <laughs> you're picking Who's Avengers? in the squad? That's your answer. Uh, let's see. I got, uh, well, Juszczyk doesn't go to, he doesn't like superhero movies. He's a Harvard guy. Uh, no, it'll be probably me, Jimmy G, um, Selleck, Trent Taylor. Okay. Um, McGlinchey will probably and go. And you'll just go to like the AMC in town and just line up and wear your outfit? 
I would tell you where I was going to go, but people would show yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, bring, yeah. Do you get dressed up like yeah, one of those people at the Comic-Con? With a fake mustache. I'll probably wear a Captain America shirt. Oh, yeah. There you go. Probably. Okay. Not the mask. Not All right, so we'll take that as an answer. <laughs> the fact that you already got your tickets. We'll take that as an answer. I mean, I love Game of Thrones, though, but I didn't really give you a full answer. Okay, all right. Uh, I was not happy with that answer. Last one. Curious George is obviously a book series yeah. about a playful chimp. What I'm That's, curious about, though, with is. you, what is one thing that most people do not know about one George Kittle? Uh, I went to three high schools in one year. Wow. Really? Yeah. Sophomore high school. Three quarterbacks one year, three high schools one year. Weird. That is weird. That, that's smart. Um, well, let's see. I was at one high school. I uh, ended up transferring, and then five months later, my dad got a coaching job at Oklahoma, so moved to Oklahoma. Okay. Coach the line down there. All how right. did that? I mean, in all seriousness, how did that help form you? Being able to jump from there to there, like, how did that make you more mature and maybe grow as an individual? Uh, really, I mean, when you, if it wasn't, I don't know how kids transfer schools without sports because it, you know, kind of forces you into yeah. relationships with teammates and all that stuff. But I mean, that really helped me because you know, I went from one school. I went into basketball season, played there, had the time of my life, had so much fun. Go to Oklahoma, completely, completely different than Iowa. Very different culture, um, but was, I had a great time. I made some great friends down there. Um, but, I mean, I'm pretty good at adapting situations. Like, um, I never get nervous saying hi to people for the first time. It's just something I'm used to now. And that's your pops right off camera? Yeah, that's your pops. Hi. Shout out to pops in the building. All right, man.